How does success look like for our planet? How we can ensure our society relies on circular economy? We are much more sustainable, and we build things for every single person to have the right to the city. The powers of the network is much better. The more nodes you have in a network, more powerful that network becomes. We today have the power to store a large amount of information and consume this in real time, and also we have the power of data analytics and machine learning. We have a lot of advancements. So what this means to us? It means that we can start reconceptualizing assets. So we can really start building a system where we collect the information from the machines, we send this through a network that we distribute the data to any person, any machine across the globe who needs that information to process. So here we are talking about also the mobility, the future, and we talk about um, cars and how cars are going to be uh, able to operate on itself. Another great thing that is also coming is virtual reality. So we have three classes of reality that we can say. We have augmented reality. We are aware of our environment. We overlay information in front of us. The virtual reality is fully embedded inside of the technology, and also mixed reality. I can have a hologram in front of me. I can edit my product and visualize this uh, to make decisions or to enhance uh, the quality of my product. How is that helping us to create better cities? This is an example. Do you remember that I said we are lacking 2.3 million doctors, and 70% of the world's population don't have access to surgical care? That is 6 billion people, guys. So here, this is an example of a doctor in Bolivia. He's performing a surgery in this boy. He's not sure how to do it. He's a general practitioner, but he's not a specialist on this type of condition. There's a doctor here in the United States who has a camera and just a plain desk. He has the instruments, that camera is filming his hands and is overlaying on this iPad. So this doctor here can perform the operation on this guy, being guided in real time by a specialist on this. So it's what we call the Internet of Skills. It's skills now that can be mobile, that can go anywhere in the globe and empower people to perform operations. We also have the concept now of the tactile Internet. Think about the ability of transmitting touch and also operating robots that are located uh, on the other side of the planet. So what we might need is we need a haptic sensor for me to actuate and the sensor collect my information and a robotic sensor on the other end. But one thing that is lacking in the middle is our ability for the connectivity. So think about the self-driving car example. I can have the sensors in my car sensing the environment, whether there's something moving on the street, I can detect the lanes, I can collect data on weather. That might impact my driving ability, the velocity, I can recalculate my route. If I know that some place is accessible by float, and then I can reroute my car, I can also connect with other data from transportation systems, uh, you know, bicycle docking. So when we say we want to have self-driving cars, we have to think we are going to generalize knowledge and to create a machine that does not need us, that can understand everything that goes on. But we have to understand one thing. Sensors on the street, we can sense about the environment. But tell me, what about this? I am a driver, I am a human. I can look at you, I can try to see your intention. I can try to see what you might be thinking. I can interact, I can read body language. I can kind of, just by looking at you, I might know your intention. And that is something really difficult for machines to, pro to process because those things are internal to the mind. So this idea of generalized AI, I don't think we will ever see this because we need many other things for us to operate an autonomous system. And a lot of things is internal to us. A very good thing for us also to notice is the idea of social innovation in smart cities. Let me give you an example. This is the open street map. This is an open source mapping, so it gets updated much faster than Google Maps because it's an open system. Every single person in this room can edit this map. Why this is important? Let me give you an example. This is a route here. And I have somebody in a wheelchair. I might draw in my system, in my app, oh, yeah, you can take that route. I'm in a wheelchair. How can I climb these stairs? People like us, humans, we are sensors as well, because we know that place we can go and we can edit and mark this route as non-friendly for people in a wheelchair. 
We can see much more than a satellite because also we understand the context of particular things in our environment. And this is much powerful because it can help us to build a system that is not going to work only for us from what we see, but for every single person of our society. So this idea of autonomy that we humans, we are not going to be part of the data processing and the machines can take over the knowledge that is so internal to us, I don't think that is going to be something that will ever come up. A city cannot be smart if that serves just a small proportion of the population. We have so many challenges. We have a child dying every, single, every 15 seconds when a child dies. Why food is not getting to them? So we think about the mobility of food, the mobility of waste, it's making us sick, the mobility of people around the cities, and make this much more accessible for every single citizen. When we design smart cities, what are the things that we have to think about? First, be ethical by design, which is Make sure that everything you are building will reflect the society you are building the technology for. The second thing is security, that's privacy preserving. We can not only pro, uh, you know, think about flying drones, we have to think about the big picture. What it is that humans they need to have so they can succeed, they can have uh, clean water and clean energy, and also be inclusive and transparent.